All right, fire signs. My apologies. This is well, you don't even know. I'm talking about my apologies. This is take two. Um, I started your other video and I forgot to put my mic on because I had to go see about my kids in the midst of me bit of me recording. So I didn't know if it was picking up the sound, but sh I it was. Uh, but I had already stopped the video, so I'm gonna start over. Um, just in case you guys have do did not get my message on my community board, whatever the fuck that's called. I'm using a new computer, so this computer is running. It it's running great. It's an amazing computer. It does everything I need it to do it, for what I bought it for. I'll have another computer that I use to download my videos, but that computer is acting up. It's acting crazy. I feel like I gotta clean it or something. So this computer, even though it's awesome, when it comes to connecting to the internet, it's like I get minimal internet connectivity, which makes my videos take like an hour to an hour and a half to almost two hours. A piece to load so unfortunately the videos will be delayed coming out today by the time you got you see it's sunlight in my house by the time you guys get this will probably be nighttime um until i can figure out what's going on with my other computer i'm going to have to use this one um because i do not want i'd rather my videos be clear than to be choppy and you guys not be able to see what's going on in the video all right so let's see what messages we have this is for my fire signs Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Sun, and Rising, Venus. I cannot remember all of the oracle cards I pulled, so we're just going to pull more. This is for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Sun, and Rising, and Venus, August 29th, 2019. Okay. All right. Give me one card for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. We have Angel of Joyfulness. It says something wondrous is, and magical is about to happen in your life. For, I know for Sagittarius you had because you guys got one. Aries got two and Leo got three. So we'll see. But the one card that you did get Sagittarius before was you reap what you sow. Um, so your seed, you're like your seeds were coming into fruition. So if you sow some good seeds, congratulations. All right. So this is for Aries. Give me a card of guidance for Aries. So I'm going to rise in the roots. Aries, we got it, um, Angel of Self-Love. It says you are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. Okay. So give me one card for... Give me one card for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me one card for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Leo. Ooh. It says, Goddess of Oneness. Someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. The underlying energy, and this was the same, so this is good. The underlying energy is the angel of clearing. It says your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. All right, so let's see what messages we have. And I have this towel down here to muffle the sound of my cards because I'm aware that this microphone picks up really good. Um, so I don't want a bunch of eardrums shuffling on this, this table like this. So I did put a towel down, but it is irritating me, so I'm going to have to find something else. A lot of readjusting going on within my career right now. <laughs> so let's see what messages we have. This is for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. August the 29th. Oh, oh, oh. August the 29th, 2019. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I know y'all was like, stop. I can't stop right there. You don't know what's going to come up out of there. Stop on the good stuff. You might end up on some bad stuff. You know, let me know. Cycle complete. Successful completion of a cycle. What are you doing? Eli? All right, now. You, the world card here with the four of ones. One card got left behind. And you know what? I feel like you guys are going into a whole new world. Ha. Ha. <laughs> Food card here with the world card. Oh my gosh. Beginning and the end. Wow. This is literally the beginning and the end. The Alpha, the Omega. I wrote a poem one time. It was like my beginning, my end. No, it was like you are my Alpha. You are my Omega. You are my beginning. You are my end. And then it was some more shit. I don't remember the rest, but I remember that part. So somebody is, I feel like because that poem popped up, I haven't said that poem since I was in early childhood education in 2000 and 
2010, 2011, something like that. So that was a long time ago that I wrote this poem. And it, it wasn't, I'll be, be honest with you, it wasn't about like being in love with someone. It was like, you were, you, you, keyword were. It was a get the fuck out of my life poem. So I feel like you got somebody out your life and now you are beginning a new cycle here, taking a leap of faith into this whole new world. A whole new world. Hey, hey, hey. I bet when y'all see the title, y'all gonna start singing. <laughs> a new thing. Let me stop them. Y'all know I love that song. Four of Wands here. Moon card here. King of Pentacles here. Ace of Swords. Whew. So there's gonna be some truth. There's gonna be some clarity here. Some truth. Um, where there was some darkness, there's going to be some truth. Someone could be dealing with some fears that could be causing them to be kind of, kind of guarded, I'm going to say. Um, but I do feel like that even through the being guarded, someone's persistent about moving into this whole new cycle. I feel like there is some fear here. Um, some secrets, some things that are hidden. Why is this moon card here? Could be dealing with the Pisces. Why is this moon card here? Well, this is a lot. So can't take that, but I definitely seen the food card there. Why is this moon card here? Could be dealing with the cancer as well, because I've seen uh see that crab there in the middle of this uh thing. Come on now, y'all, y'all stop playing with me. Let me give these a good shot. They playing with me now. Why is this moon card here? Maybe we ain't supposed to know what's what's in the dark. Why is this moon card here? Somebody like, somebody could be moving in the dark. Why is this moon card here? Why is this moon card here? Five of Cups here, five, ooh, five fives. Changes, Ace of Swords. So someone's going to speak about some changes. Something that's hidden, someone's changing internally or changing inside of themselves. I feel like someone's facing their own darkness here, searching for the path, like someone's shining the light in the dark. Five of Cups here, dealing with regret, dealing with lack. I feel like there's going to be some truth spoken about that. Six of Cups here. Could have been dealing, this could be a soulmate here, or this can be things changing from what they were in the past, because in the past, there may have been this type of energy. Only way, only reason why I say that, because I got the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So in the past, you could have been in the dark. I feel like what was hidden with the Ace of Swords here in the external, what was hidden to you is going to come into light here. I don't see the sun, so I'm not going to say you're going to get clarity, but I feel like you're going to get some communication about something. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Could be dealing with an earth sign. King of Pentacles is Taurus, but it can be any um, masculine earth sign. Doesn't have to be a masculine, but it's a man, king. Um, why is this King of Pentacles here? Why is this King of Pentacles here? Fives, three fives here. Wow, so someone's changing. This is a whole new world. Someone's changing. I got three fives, and what's crazy, I got three fives here, and then I got two aces on the clarifications. So someone's changing and there's some new energy here. Five of Swords here, someone's feeling conflicted here about a new opportunity, but they're confident about moving forward. So even though someone may feel conflicted mentally, maybe feeling defeated, I do feel like someone's moving forward. I feel like someone's confident about moving forward. Ace of Swords here. Why is this Ace of Swords in surrounding energy? I like this. I feel like someone is finally standing up for themselves or, you know, overcoming a situation the nine of wands in the subconscious i feel like someone is overcoming and being persistent with that with that yeah two eights here two of pentacles four of pentacles shit someone's moving toward balance for themselves wait eight of cups someone's going to speak the truth about walking away from an imbalanced situation moving forward here someone's gonna i feel like someone was guarded before that's why that moon card because someone had fear someone was guarded about speaking truth before truth is going to be spoken this is a whole new world. Wow. There's going to be some cooperation here. Um, I feel like someone has now secured their own independence or secured abundance through their independence. And I feel like someone's going to speak some truth here or someone is going to see an opportunity to walk away. If someone has not spoken truth, someone could be having fear and someone could speak an opportunity um, or speak about an opportunity. No, that's not it. I feel like someone... Have, there is some secrets here that someone is going to speak on some things that were that were hidden. Maybe some disappointments, maybe some regret, um, some lack type of energy here. Someone's going to speak about that. I feel like someone's going to be conf confident about doing that as well. Feeling as though now they have the Midas touch. They're able to do that. So we have the Nine of Wands here. Hold on one second, y'all. So we have the Nine of Wands here. Why is this Nine of Wands here? 
make sure it ain't time to get my baby. <laughs> Why is this nine of wands here? I feel like someone's overcoming. Ooh, in their highest vibration, really. Ooh, someone's dealing with the Taurus. It could be a new, now. This is the thing. I got two earth signs here, one feminine and one masculine. Um, so it either you are an earth sign and you have this, or you have earth in your chart, maybe it's as a Venus or as one of your, you know, moon, whatever. I don't know. It could be a moon earth sign. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I do feel like here, someone is, you got ace of swords, ace of cups, ace of swords twice, ace of pentacles here. I feel like there's a new opportunity that someone has been in the past because the underlying energy here is the eight of swords. Someone has been trapped in their own thoughts in the past. Maybe, um, feeling as though they, they needed kind of a boost and I feel like you got a boost um I do feel like someone has gained their independence some way shape or form and I do feel like now someone is wanting to kind of be persistent in overcoming a situation and a situation that caused them to feel conflicted it's a household situation some okay so someone was dealing with a controlling household situation or maybe have been controlling um in a household situation i feel like someone's overcoming that overcoming their fears maybe they were in control of how they felt i feel like that's changing something's changing here someone is understanding or being someone's being true to who they are is what it looks like i feel like you're dealing with a taurus and either they've given you strength or you gained your strength some way, shape, or form um, and took it on this type of energy of really being confident about bringing something into your life. Why is this page of wands here? Why is this page of wands here? Why is this page of wands here? Thought one of these cards turned over. Why is this page of wands here? All of the fucking aces are out. Every one of them, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords twice. So some communication is leading. This is damn, this is a whole new fucking world. This is it. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Someone's, there may be some good news. Someone could be asserting their independence moving forward here. I feel like Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, someone that's overcoming an imbalanced situation and moving forward. You legit got all of the Aces. All Aces. This is, this is big. This is motherfucking big. A whole new world. This is good. I'm kind then. I'm okay then. What a beautiful time to have my Aries and, and uh, Venus. You know what I'm saying? Let some good shit happen. I'll be happy. All right. So let's see what message. Tell me, tell me something new. Oh. Y'all see that Aphrodite right there in the flesh, romantic love. I'm with it. 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 All right. Anyway, so let's see. And my seventh house is uh, Sagittarius. So we'll see though, because <laughs> when I'm popping right now. All right. So let's see while I'm shuffling because these cards keep coming out, and I need to get them categorized per sign. Okay. So give me one for Sagittarius moving forward. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, not the book. Not the book, Sagittarius. Not the book. Good God. Damn. All right. <laughs> give me one part. There we go. Sagittarius. You have radical acceptance. So some of you guys need to radically accept that you are being saved. See the truth of the situation. Independence here. I really feel like your independence is um, really your salvation right now. Accepting, not accepting the independence, but accepting that you may be in this final chapter of your independence. You guys could be about to be Buddha, 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 Buddha. Eh, eh. All right. <laughs> Give me one for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Rebirth. Oh my gosh. Aries, we got to be rebirthed with Nurturer here. So you may have had some inexperience in the past. I think you need to focus on the knowledge. This was one of your cards. Focus on, um, in the last, the one that I did not put out. That, I mean, not inexperienced, but wisdom was one of your cards. So maybe you need to focus on the knowledge that you've learned from previous situations in order for you to nurture this sort of rebirth. I feel like you got a rebirth of something popping off. All right, Leo. 
we have patterns. So this is about understanding the patterns, seeing like humor here, Uzumi. This is about seeing the patterns of your emotions and kind of understanding that. Oh, oh my goodness. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Y'all got the best read of the day. That's all I got, y'all. Peace.